Welcome. We're here at the Medicine Wheel Gala once again, and we're so honored to be here with two of the medicine women. I'm so honored, Senator. I'd love to have you talk, tell the Indian community about who you are, what you do in Massachusetts Senate. Okay, great. Well, first, uh, thank you all for being here. Madis Medicine Wheel is quite an amazing organization. I'm Linda Dorsina Forey. I'm a state senator. I represent Dorchester, Mattapan, South Boston, and a little bit of High Park. This is my 12th year in elected office, my fourth year as a senator, and I'm assistant majority whip Wonderful. for Senate President Rosenberg. Fantastic. And I loved your story about South Boston because in 1974, my my parents said, oh, a parade. We went to Southie, right there in Sar my mom, my aunties, all in Sardis, yeah. right there, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Wow. And of course, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get killed. But it was such a wonderful time. That is awesome. We had great. It was a great time. We survived and had a wonderful time. Now we're here with our youth presenter. Yes, please tell us about yourself. My name is Kwanda Butler, and I've been a part of Medicine Wheel since 2004 and I am a Medicine Wheel alumna who was a part of the first generation of Hand in Hand Project. Yep. I'm Officer Javier Pagan. I've been with the police department going on 23 years and I am the GLBT liaison and a community service officer and one of the participants in the Medicine Wheel. My hand is somewhere in there. <laughs> and also, if you didn't recognize him, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and a hero, and I, and, I, and I don't joke about that, he was, a, he is, was, and is a hero in our community, right. and at the Marathon Explosions, and, and I'm honored to call Javi a friend for many, many years. Too many, we won't go into that. And, <laughs> and also we're here with Artistic Director, Medicine Wheel, Michael Dowling. Michael, in awe. We've taken a lot of footage across this room, and it's your inspiration and your work, and today, tonight, can you tell us a few words about exactly impact? Well, I, I'm feeling a deep sense of contentment and gratitude, and, uh, and, and I'm a very fortunate man, you know. I think I'm a very simple-minded person in many ways. This is a very simple, simple project. Uh, it really invites people uh, to a moment, a moment in time where they see themselves and see each other and maybe more importantly they see who they can be for themselves and who they can be for each other. So, you know, I think that art is a service and that the role of the artist is to facilitate opportunities for people to recognize themselves and, and recognize each other. So I feel really blessed. The one thing Michael's not going to tell, which I'm going to share with you, he actually also leads the guided meditations with the police officers, 200. Michael. That's right. I came to meditation late in life. I think I was 37, so I'm 63 now, Good. right? So, uh, and it slowed down the aging process, as you can see, right? <laughs> but that, but, but I'll tell you, you know, the, the mindfulness piece of this work is perhaps the most significant. And I think, you know, we put this work in the context for the young people and the officers. Can you imagine if you had at any moment in your life when something comes up suddenly, that, that time to take that extra breath, right? That time to place yourself and locate yourself in the situation before you react, right? And so all of our work becomes, instead of reactionary, and there's a lot of reactionary art out there, our work becomes responsive. How do we respond to uh, the human condition as opposed to how do we react to perhaps human neediness, right? And so we're really looking to explore the difference between uh, true desire to become who we're called to be and the neediness to be something else, right? You know, the one thing I want to say, I'm a very proud member of the Medicine Wheel Board and it is through inspirational vision as Michael Dowling and our winners and participants of Medicine Wheel Hand in Hand Project this is a project to support. This is what cultural dialogue is about, engagement, talking with Commissioner Evans. And, you know, for example, Michael, Indian community with the recent rise in hate crimes, I would love to work with you and create a hand in hand in dialogue with the Indian American community and our police officers. That is a vision. 
this is where we can go, this is where we can be a part of the scene in the sense where we can raise our hands and be noticed, be a part of the table. So Medicine Wheel Productions, Michael Dowling, yes, donations always welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs>